Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Last time we left off, we were here in the Symphony of Sorcery, enjoying some fabulous music with some awkward sound effects and terrible reality shifts. And we found this interesting looking piece of paper. And then I briefly forgot how to use my buttons. It's okay. Definitely looks vaguely like a musical score. I mean, it's empty, but... What did I get myself into? Oh no. Oh no. I know. I know what this is. Well, first, I gotta deal with you, huh? You waiting for me? Yes. The boy chosen by the Keyblade. Riku. What? It was yours first, wasn't it? But you succumbed to the darkness you could not control. And your prize, the Keyblade. Passed on to Sora instead. Your mistakes always end up being other people's problems. Maybe so. But I'm here to change all of that. That's the spirit, buddy. Once again, you performed predictably. Although on a grander scale than I imagined. If you're feeling so chatty, let's skip to where you reveal what this is all about. I don't know how you did it. But you really have found a way to trap darkness inside your heart. And a boy who's immune to darkness is of no use to us. Well, there's some good news. Your abyss awaits. Oh, come on. This all you got? I fought this guy a long time ago. Spooky as he is. Don't get me wrong. Chernobog is pretty terrifying. Bring it on, asshole. It's time to dive. Defeat Chernobog. Ow. That one was on me. No! God! Not exactly my ideal boss fight, admittedly. Woo! Nyom! Whoa! Star Fox, this is not. Oh, he's using blue flame now. To summon... To summon... Oh, deaths! He's summoning deaths! Do a barrel roll! You better try a little harder than that. He knocked me all the way back, holy cow. Uh oh. Now he's got white deaths. Mm, Gimme. Ow! You sneaky bastard. Mm. 
Gotcha! Easy peasy. Is that all this lit world has to offer? At least for Riku, anyway? Try out that sound idea. There you go. Excuse me while I do my best conductor impression. It's not great, but I try. My menu theme. So pretty. And of course, Sora's always right there to give a hand. Unseen, but always there. That was amazing! What happened? Sora. Sora? <laughs> Funny. Just hearing that name kind of makes me want to smile. Yeah. That's how he is. What do you know? He's a giant dork. Riku and Sora. The sound ideas you two set free joined together. And when they did, they made a great and powerful harmony. Hm. Sora can find the brightest part of anything and pull off miracles like there's nothing to it. It's pretty hard not to smile around him. Wow! No wonder the music sounded like so much fun. But I bet he's got you to thank for that. Having such a good friend means he could really enjoy it. Huh? It's like each of you is holding on to a little part of the other. Your hearts are always in tune, so they're free to sing. Gosh, I hope I can be part of the team someday. You will be. You will. Trust me. <laughs> you, Donald and Goofy, will be integral parts of Team Sora. We really need a group name that doesn't venerate it, the, the head member. This seems kind of like a dick move. You know, like the Avengers or the Justice League or something like that. Long reach that provides extra boost to magic. Nice. Totally a Riku Keyblade. Well, let's check it out and then... And then go over to Sora, because I'm pretty sure Riku's now at the end of his, uh, his adventures. At least until we've... cleared things up a bit more on Sora's end. Uh... Nice. It's even pretty good for strength. Baller socks. Alright, let's uh let's check my ability links. Got a little bit of link points. Um not much. Uh, not really enough for anything too great. Yeah, actually now that I'm looking at it. Now that I'm looking at it, it's kinda sad. I guess I can make Dave a little more resistant to, to blizzard energy. Good job, Dave. Alright. Well, still plenty of time in this episode. Let's pop over to Sora. And get his symphonic adventure started. Drop accelerator. Tack up. Infinity. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there, buddy. So do I have, uh... 
Any... Cool spirit stuff I can do for you? My firm's already, almost already maxed out. Yeah, he's... He's maxed out now. Ooh, I gotta find someone to, to replace Ephraim with, sadly. And almost at us, too. It's a sad day in the timeline. Alright. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a moment. Get to create a spirit. Got any templates that, that can work out? some cool ones, but none that are gonna get to work real fast. Nope, nothing there. I make, a, I make a frog chef. I think I already have a frog. Actually, I think I have a few on, on hand, now that I think about it. Who do I got waiting in the wings? Um, let's see. I got Duvok. Place one frog for another frog. Uh... I think Duvok and, of course, everyone's favorite, Floorfish. That's a reference that very few people will get. Now, Duvok's more of a magic. There's Floorfish, it's pretty rounded, but with an uh, emphasis on strength. Let's put Floorfish in. It only makes sense that Floorfish would replace Ephraim. Again, that is a reference no one is meant to get. Uh, attack up. It's a good sign. It's got, looks like, mostly attack-based commands. What's this? Zero Gravaga. That's a good... That's a good... Ooh, he's got Leaf Bracer, too. Damn, Fourfish. That's uh, probably a Riku-only move, though. Balls... Uh, well, you're in for a little while, at least until I find someone better, Fourfish. Maybe I can buy some neat stuff over here. Anyway, without further ado, let's visit this world. Dive! Need points? Got it. Out. Maybe a little more control. Out. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, too big. It's too big to smash through. Oh, this is this is unsafe. Ow. Yep, totally. Totally unsafe. Faster. Nice. Ring open, let's go. How'd I do? A plus. Why does Rico get prizes for completing that A plus? It's bullshit and you know it. This is the Mickey that's grown drunk on power. Whoa. Huh. Neat. Oh, that can't be good. Spellican! Ow. Is this... Am I back at Master Yen Sid's tower? Something seems off. K 
King Mickey. He's being forced to conduct. Is this what's troubling? What a terrible him? fate. All right. Like how Mickey just let. Gosh, is that a key? Like how Mickey just let him get beat the crap out of. Apprentice to. I'm Mickey, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, huh? Apprentice? Wait, am I in some world where the king was still in training? So, does that mean this world is sleeping? What's wrong? What? Oh, uh, I'm Sora, the, uh, apprentice of, um... <sighs> hey, listen, your mag... I gotta stop that. <laughs> Mickey, what can I do to save you? Thank you, Sora. But it's, but it's no, no use. use. A oh, monster's possessed that music. And he's, and he's releasing, releasing darkness, darkness that stops anybody from going in there to fight him. To dispel the darkness, we need a sound idea. It's that dream eater I let escape. Okay, where do I get to be a fair, sound you idea? You didn't really let him escape so much as... find one for me? Of course. So much as he just ran away without even fighting us. Not every day I get to do a favor for the king. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, nothing. Long story. So what exactly is a sound idea? Hmm. Inside this musical score should be a power that can sweep away any darkness. Neat. But you gotta be careful. In between those clefts and notes are monsters. Not as strong as the big one, but still pretty strong. Got it. So go in there and fuck up some monsters. That's what I do best. I think we got time for a nice little opener. An apprentice never appreciates the little things that they they're told to do in order to, you know, build character. Always looking for that shortcut. Three meters, little bitch. All right, Google. You got some neat stuff for me. Ooh, three hundred. I would like some of these, please. As I have none. Just need to find some stuff to sell. I can't sell Sonic Blade much as I would like to. Um. Ascal Splitter is kind of lame. I can get rid of that. I don't really use the balloon spells all that much. Because they are also kind of lame. Um, these don't really give me that much money. Harsh. I don't have that much of. Rampant fancies I could use more of. And some fleeting fantasies. Or fancies. Yeah, sure. Give me a couple of those. Cool. Thanks, Moogle. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. What kind of weird and whimsical world am I off to today?
Wow! It's so pretty! Floorfish, is this heaven? I want a dragon. Why don't I have a dragon? Oh, gosh. Yo, 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 yo. Gosh, there's so many monsters. The Dream Eater population around here is just ridiculous. Also, removing Ephraim kind of tanked my, uh, my attack haste, so I am not doing great. Might have to do some, uh, some Dream Eater creation in between this. This in the next episode. Time to do some more music, I guess. Is that enough? Good. Whee! Nothing over here. Oh, oh, overshot. Give me that big... Give me the big treasure chest. Is it a neat ability? Sure as hell is. Hook me up with that glide. Everybody loves glide. Sora's the only one who can glide? <laughs> Suck it, Riku. Here with you guys. It's really one of those candy goggles, apparently. Hey. Where the heck am I going? This way. That's the way I came from. This way. Ah, okay. Hard to tell paths apart when they're all made of clouds. Need aesthetic though. Again, at least it was a pretty neat pose. Oh, and I'm stunned. And I'm dying. Do not have hit stun. I do not pre approve of that. Bring down the death. I learned this one from Sephiroth. This is more effective. Oh, uh, time bomb. Ow. Well. Can't say I didn't try. You know, I it occurs to me. The idea of uh of gliding this game is honestly kinda silly. Glide is meant to increase mobility. 
but I can already do this by default. Prism Windmill? Don't mind if I do. Prism Windmill. Sounds dope. Hold on, I uh I saw a thing. There it is. Give me my thing. Ooh, more things. Elixir, paint, mega potion. Not the most helpful stuff in the world, but I'll take it. All right, well, I suspect we still got a, a fairly long road ahead of Sora here in the Symphony of Sorcery. So I think we'll call the episode for now and continue on this path in the next one. Hope you're all enjoying the, the continued concerto as much as I am. And if you are, please feel free to let me know down below with a like, comment, subscribe. Thoughts and feelings and all that kind of stuff. Always appreciate it. But we'll continue on to our finale in the next episode. Till then, though, you'll have yourselves a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next adventure. Later.